My Hero Academia is popping off right now. If you've watched my previous reviews on My Hero, then you know that I had a lot to complain about with the last couple of seasons. I felt like My Hero had so much potential and I just wasn't living up to it. But so far, this season has been a major improvement. At the time I'm recording this video, I've watched 13 episodes of this new season and I am completely caught up to the manga. But don't worry, there won't be any manga spoilers in this video because in this video, I'm only gonna give you my first thoughts of My Hero Academia season six. The first thing I want to talk about was the story. Let's be honest, ever since the All Might vs. All for One fight, the story has been on a steady decline. I'm not saying that there hasn't been hype moments since then, but they all pale in comparison to the climactic battle in Season 3. It was frustrating because the symbol of peace had just been taken down and the League of Villains were still on the loose, plotting something sinister in the background, but we didn't get any attention on that. Instead, we put a lot of attention onto things like getting a provisional hero license, saving a little girl from the Yakuza, a school festival, and a joint training session between classes 1A and 1B. Again, there were things I enjoyed from those arcs, but with the state of the world in the show, these were minor things that shouldn't have been taking up as much attention as it was. I did enjoy the focus on Endeavor trying to figure out how to become a proper hero that everyone could actually look up to, and the focus on the League of Villains in the My Hero Academia arc as these threads both addressed what life would look like without the symbol of peace and what Shigaraki was up to. It also led up to the events of this season in which an all-out war breaks out between the heroes and villains. We finally got the high stakes that this series had been missing for so long. One thing about this arc that I found amazing was that other characters who usually don't get as much focus got to have the spotlight for a couple of episodes. Like Mirko, for instance, popped off and was an absolute badass. Kaminari got a really cool moment as well, and a lot of the minor background heroes really stepped up in this arc. It's far from perfect though. Like they're definitely toning down the gore so it's more suitable for children to watch and the animation is somewhat inconsistent in terms of quality. That being said, the story of My Hero Academia has hit another peak. I know how this is going to end since I've read the manga but I'm still very excited to see how it's going to look fully animated and in color. Like I said a little earlier, there's been a lot of focus on characters who usually get moved to the sideline, like Mirko and Kaminari for instance, and I want to talk about more of those characters now. I'm only going to be talking about this stuff up to episode 8 because I only wanted to focus on a quarter to a third of the season in this mini review, but there were definitely some amazing character moments past episode 8. One that really stood out to me so far was Hawks and Twice. I really enjoyed the dilemma Hawks found himself in as he truly considered Twice to be an ally, but simultaneously the biggest threat to all of the heroes. He recognized Twice was mostly just a confused person who didn't really fit in anywhere in society, and the only people who truly accepted him were villains. Hawks wanted to help him so badly, and I honestly had no idea of what would happen. That being said, when push came to shove, Hawks was able to put his feelings aside and kill the one he called his friend. I've seen a lot of people saying that Hawks is an awful person for this, but what else was he even supposed to do? I think he made the right choice, but it was also a tragic one which brought some darkness back into the show. Another character I thought really stood out was Eraserhead. It's not like we've gotten a lot of action scenes with him or anything like that, but we occasionally see how events impact him emotionally, which is a new thing for me. We don't often get insights as to what he's feeling, so these brief moments are really nice. Not to mention his quirk came in really clutch for dealing with Shigaraki. He has single-handedly prevented the deaths of so many people with Erasure that even the protagonist recognized that he is the MVP. I was also impressed with Momo Yayorozi for coming up with a brilliant plan for stopping Gigantomachia. The other students and even the pro heroes followed in her lead, even though it didn't go completely as planned, it was really nice to see her be in a leadership position. Shigaraki has become more terrifying since we last saw him, and he is a real threat. His quirk has always been strong, but now with All For One, he seems unstoppable. In the past, he gave off little kid energy as he would throw tantrums when things didn't go his way, but now that he has all of this power, he seems much more calm and reserved. It seems like he doesn't care about what anyone does because he knows things will play out in his favor in the end. There are many other cool characters as well in this season so far, but I'm not going to spend too much more time on them because I'm trying to keep my review short and sweet. I believe I hit most of the major ones though. Before I end this video, let's talk about the opening theme for this season because it definitely surprised me with its quality. It felt like a comic book directly translated into animation, which is what anime inherently is, but I got an extra comic book feel from this. It was probably the sound effects and speech bubbles and the way the colors were used that made me feel this way. The music itself was also pretty awesome and it got me hyped to watch this show with every episode. I don't know if I would say this is my favorite opening for My Hero Academia, but it's definitely in my top three. And I think that's pretty cool that this intro didn't spoil 
too much of what's going to happen in the show. In conclusion, My Hero Academia is at its peak right now. This arc was my favorite in the manga and I knew it could bring some hype back into the show if it was adapted correctly. Even though I had some complaints about the animation, so far Studio Bones is doing a great job and I'm confident that they will continue to do a great job throughout the rest of the season. Hopefully this arc can restore the confidence other people had in the show like it did for me.